Hi, I'm Dorcas. In this video, I'm going to show you how I am installing WordPress on a website that I have with SiteGround. So I already have the domain, which is dorcas.ie. I already have the hosting, which is with um, SiteGround. And here I am in my dashboard. So I click on the menu and I click on WordPress. Click, as you might guess, install and manage. I'm going to select install WordPress. Over there, you can see the option with WordPress and WooCommerce. I can get WooCommerce later, so I'm just going to install WordPress. Then down below, you can see the domain is dorcas.e, so that's the um, the domain that we're that I'm looking at at the moment. So that's uh, you know the the only option. Um, I'm going to choose the language, then so just to show you the different options, there's loads the of different languages. So this is the language that your WordPress dashboard will be in. I'm going to choose English UK. Um, then you can see the installation path. So main folder means it'll be installed directly on dorcas.ie. But if I just go to uh, dorcas.ie, you'll see that I already have a website here and I don't actually want to change it. It's a very simple um, one page website. So um, I'm not going to click to install on the main folder. I'm going to install it on a subfolder. So it'll be dorcas.ie slash something so i'm going to um put in this something so the something is any word at all that i want so i'm going to just call this wordpress it could be any word at all i've just chosen wordpress because um on this particular installation we're going to use it to learn wordpress and um, the username this is where i put in my own um username so i'd recommend you put the username as anything other than admin as in not what i've just chosen and actually even better on siteground it doesn't even allow that so that's brilliant because it's just bad for security and um, it's too easy to hack and um, so i'm going to put in my um, username i'll put in my password i'll put in my email address and let's just do that i'll just block it out for me, I'm going to deselect this. I don't want this WordPress starter. I just want a completely fresh installation. I'm going to click install. And then usually I just wait a few seconds and very shortly. So here you can see not in the dorcas.ie link, but in dorcas.ie slash WordPress. This is where we can see our WordPress website. This is, this is the completely fresh installation of WordPress. So if you install WordPress today, it'll look exactly like that. And to access the dashboard, I can either visit it directly from my SiteGround admin panel. So I can just go to here, or in future, instead of going via SiteGround, I can just go to um, the link, so dorcas.e slash WordPress wp-admin, and then I'll be at my um, user login page. Um, I'm automatically logged in right now, but if I just log out, just to show you, this is what the login page will look like. You put in your username, your password. If you forgot your password, you could just click here and then either put in your username or the email address that you used. Um, and that is how to install WordPress using SiteGround.